SSDs are winning the storage race. Falling GPU prices, AMD's B450 motherboard shown off, Microsoft is releasing new hardware soon, and deals. So stay tuned. Welcome back to GamerMeld. SSDs, or solid-state drives, have been gaining further adoption over the past few years, with their use in everything from cell phones to PCs as well as a continued drop in price. Of course, many of you, including myself, still use hard drives for our main storage. But with today's first story, it's pretty clear spinning disks are losing traction rapidly. In a statement to the register, longtime storage manufacturer Western Digital is closing one of their oldest HDD manufacturing facilities, leaving the company with only two factories moving forward. That's a huge drop in production, and the company certainly puts the blame on SSDs while planning to up their production of the drives moving forward. Next up, AMD's latest mid-range chipset, the B450, is probably right around the corner, with boards from all their major partners live on their sites. The B450 boards are a great option for gamers who don't need all the PCI Express lanes, SLI, Crossfire support, or all the ports of the X470 boards, but want to still overclock and still have a fair amount of each. The new boards support Precision Boost Overdrive as well as having better RAM support. The next story has Microsoft releasing something new at Gamescom next month. The company hinted at it on their blog when they stated, quote, all new Xbox hardware and accessories. Unfortunately, they did revise it to say new Xbox One bundles and accessories, but luckily it's the accessories part I'm concerned about. See, back in January, there were supposed leaks of a new Xbox One Elite controller with a USB-C port, Bluetooth support, and more. So there isn't too much to go off of, but given Microsoft's statement, there's a chance this is what we'll see. And no, it's definitely not a new Xbox. Next up, originally reported by 3dcenter.org, both Nvidia and AMD's graphics cards have fallen in price by as high as 18% since the end of May, which seems to lend true to a recent story I did on prices falling in July. Of course, there's plenty more July left, so how far they'll fall is up in the air. Let's just hope it's by a lot. Speaking of prices falling a lot, Newegg is having their Fantastic sale, coinciding with Amazon's Prime Day. Coincidence? I think not. The company still has a ton of great things for sale, but to point out a couple noteworthy items, they've got a 500GB Samsung 860 EVO SATA SSD for just 100 bucks after you use the $20 code. Then they've got a 43-inch 1080p TV from a brand I've never heard of, but who cares? Because it's just 100 bucks after the rebate and $30 promo code. Lastly, if you missed the well-priced 1080 on Amazon, Newegg has $40 off a Gigabyte GTX 1080 after the promo code. Unfortunately, it's ending pretty soon, so make sure to head over there fast. So while that does it for today, what did you think of the news? Excited for AMD's next-gen boards or just want to see more deals? Let me know down in the comments below. And as always, have a great day.